Hello, myself, Dr. Sanjay Biani. Uh, basically, I am a chartered accountant. I am in education from last 20 years. Today, we will discuss uh, some important topics related with financial management. Now, my uh, today I will deal with ratio analysis, certain ratio which are uh, uh, which uh, which is difficult to understand. Uh, first ratio is. Uh, uh, price earning ratio what is the price earning ratio this ratio is uh, uh, important while we are dealing with the uh, share market what is the price earning ratio it's very simple market price will be divided by earning per share because eps indicate per share earning of the year so EPS shows some quality phenomena of the earning during the year. So EPS, so price of the share should be divided by EPS. So that we can calculate whether the particular share which is quoted in a market is underpriced or overpriced. We want to buy that share which is undervalued nowadays. So how we can find out whether shares are undervalued or overvalued? Very simple. Please calculate price earning ratio. Price earning ratio, how it is, again I will repeat, market price will be divided by some quality phenomena which is known as EPS. So uh, while we are purchasing shares of a different segment of a company or the same segment, five different companies, then we have to work out five price earning ratio in order to calculate whether this is overvalued or undervalued. Second term is what is earning per share? Earning per share is also very important indication whether we should buy or not. Earning per share means how it is calculated. Earning which is available for shareholders. So profit after interest, depreciation, taxation that is the fund which is available for the shareholders so funds which are available for shareholders will be divided by the number of shareholders so because uh, earning uh, eps is related with equity funds so again we have to work out profit which is really available for equity shares so profit after depreciation after tax even after preferential dividend that is the real profit which is available for equity shareholders that profit will be divided by number of shares it will give earning per share so earning per share is a qualitative phenomena so higher eps shares will be always preferred so second term is i think it is very much clear eps is a qualitative indicators of a shares higher EPS will be preferred and EPS means profit after depreciation, interest, taxation, preferential dividend and that is the real profit which is available for equity shareholders and this profit will be divided by the number of equity shares and we can find out earning per share. So I think this term is now very much clear. Uh, another important ratio is debt equity ratio because this is also very important higher debt indicate higher risk and vice versa so there must be reasonable balance between equity and debt so debt equity ratio uh, uh, changes depend upon the nature of industry but higher debt in comparison to equity indicate higher risk if equity is higher then there is less risk so in order to calculate risk position we have to work out debt equity ratio so the formula is very simple debt divided by equity it is reasonable that we can borrow double the equity so debt may be twice of equity that is a reasonable standard ratio of debt equity ratio so I hope now this term is also very much clear. So uh, uh, listener, uh, once again, I would like to say thank you for listening me.
we will see you again thank you good luck thank you very much thank you thank you and thank you